Hi there, my name is Ashley and I work on the communications team at Children's Wisconsin. Each week we're taking time with experts to talk about the different ways that Children's continues to support and provide the best care for children. Like everyone, we've had to adapt and change as we respond to COVID-19, but our team is still here to help. Joining me today in the lab in our Milwaukee hospital is Dr. Mike Gutzeit, our chief medical officer. He's offered to help answer some questions about COVID-19 testing at Children's Wisconsin. If you have any questions on this topic, please leave them in the comments. Dr. Gutzeit and I are trying to talk loudly. There's some lab stuff happening, and we're also trying to stay six feet apart and have masks on at the moment. Um, thanks for taking the time to chat with us. Certainly. To start, can you tell us a bit about where we are currently? Sure. Uh, thanks, Ashley. Hi, everybody. Mike Gutzeit, as Ashley said, Chief Medical Officer. And I did want to reemphasize a couple of things that were said. First of all, we are practicing physical distancing here. We're six feet apart. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, but there are times in the hospital where uh, just because of the work that's being done, it's not possible to remain six feet apart. So we'll talk about that a little bit later. And also, one of the other things we're doing is practicing good hand hygiene always. <laughs> okay, always important. So safety measures are always important to, to provide the best and safest care and the best and safest environment. As Ashley said, we're in the laboratory of children's. Uh, Children's Wisconsin has a large laboratory that does many, many tests a day. One of the areas of focus right now is COVID-19 testing. All right. So can you tell us the difference between screening and testing and why they're both important? Sure, absolutely. Sorry, just <laughs> touch my face while I wash my hands again. So, um, yeah, uh, there's a lot of discussion and a lot of confusion sometimes about testing and screening. So screening is actually asking a series of tests to see if one might have symptoms that could indicate COVID-19 or another disease process. So screening is, is asking questions. Testing is actually performing a test to determine whether someone has a certain disease process. In this case, it might be COVID-19 that you'd be testing for. Okay. Who are we testing here at Children's Wisconsin? You know, the, so there's been a lot of discussion around testing itself and the importance of testing and the testing strategies. It's hard to pick up the news or social media article and not see something about the testing strategy and we need more tests and the things that we're doing to, uh, to have testing itself done. Um, at Children's right now, sorry, my mask is getting a little bit uh, out of the <laughs> way here, so there we go. You're doing a lot of talking, <laughs> pulling it down. <laughs> um, it, at Children's right now, what we're doing is we're testing all patients that are admitted to the hospital. We're testing patients who are going to have procedures, surgical procedures before the procedure to assure that we can have the proper uh, equipment in place for them uh, when they have their surgical procedure and to provide the safest environment. We also are, are testing certain select patients too in special populations at the discretion of physicians. And we're looking at other strategies to enhance our testing to test symptomatic patients in our emergency department and our primary care areas too. Okay. So why are we testing those people and not just everybody who tries to enter a Children's Wisconsin location? Yeah. We um, unfortunately we don't have the resources to do public health testing, which is large scale testing of unlimited numbers of people. We want to focus on those patients and the area, uh, the, those individuals within our organization who we uh, know will, if we do the testing strategy uh, appropriately, will be able to provide the best and safest environment. One other area that we, one other group of pe uh, people that we are testing now is we're starting to test any employees that might have symptoms and we're following uh, national standards in terms of asking questions about that too. Okay. We've heard a lot in the news about the different types of tests, including <laughs> antibody tests. Can you talk about which kind of tests we're doing here at Children's? Sure, uh, absolutely. There are two basic kind of tests that are done. The first one is to test for the presence of the actual COVID-19 virus itself. So that's the one that you've heard so much about, about doing more testing, getting more testing capacity available. And the second type of testing that Ashley referred to is called the antibody test. Sorry. The antibody test is one that is done to test for the presence of whether one actually had the infection of COVID-19. So the first test, the viral test, tests for the presence of the virus to see if you actually have the, 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 the virus uh, infection at that time. And the antibody test tests for the presence of whether you had it in the past. And that's a, a, a test that we uh, we are currently using in the hospital itself, but we are working on developing that to uh, have it used for additional ways to test. And I hear that you might have a special guest for us to talk a little bit more about the tests. Is that right? Absolutely. I'd like to invite Dr. Sue Kell in uh, and have her discuss. Now, this is one of those situations where it's almost impossible to maintain six feet of <laughs> yeah, distance, but we do have we do have our masks on. Yeah. 
And uh, I thought it would be important for Dr. Kell to just talk about the testing itself uh, from the from the mouth of an expert. So, Dr. Kell. Okay, so I'm Sue Kale, and I'm the director of all the molecular testing that's done here at Children's, not just for coronavirus, but a lot of other different analytes. Um, like most of the labs in the city, we offer two multiple platforms, multiple different ways to do the testing, and that's because of the limited availability of the supplies. So we have a high throughput platform that we use that does the vast majority of our testing. It, it minimally takes six hours for us to do the test, and we perform it a couple times a day. We also have a rapid test that it takes a couple hours for us to do. That test is really a small platform test, and we limit that test to those patient, patients that have emergent medical needs, such as needing emergency surgery or circumstances like that. Okay. So you said the longer form test might take six hours or so for the lab to process, right? Mm -hmm. The rapid one is more like a couple hours. Yep. And then it might depend or vary how long that information can get to a family, correct? Yeah, so our results are available to the providers within 24 hours of okay. receipt of the samples. And obviously, depending on the time of day that we give them that information and yep. when they're working, it may take a little bit longer for okay. the patients to actually get that information. Okay. But most of the time, it should be available the same day. Okay, great. One more question for you while we have you here. Yeah. What do we typically do in this lab? So COVID-19 is kind of a, a rare exception right now, right? Yeah. So on before this all happened, what were some of the things the team was doing here? Oh, so we do uh, cultures for bacteria, so you know, people that have infections and um, bacteria in their blood, we do that type of testing. We also do molecular testing for influenza, respiratory syncytial virus for little kids. So we have a wide variety of testing that we do here. Typically, all right, great. Mm -hmm. And I do think it's important to point out that Dr. Kell and her team continue to perform all of those tests and have added on the COVID-19 testing too. So any test that would need to be performed on a patient that we would usually do continues to be run here at Children's so we can provide the best care that's necessary for kids. Awesome. Yes, we have not dropped down any of our testing. We've just added work on to what our people normally do. Okay. <laughs> well, we thank you for everything you and your team are doing. Uh -huh. Thank all you, right. Dr. Awesome. Kelly. Thank you okay. so much. Mm -hmm. Dr. Gutsay, during COVID-19, what's concerning to you and, and the people you work with? I think the thing that's most concerning is making sure that we're providing the best care for kids during this time when there's a lot of anxiety and a lot of concern. Uh, we do know that, um, that we have had to, um, we had to initially uh, kind of uh, decrease some of our services just because of the risk of COVID-19 within the environment. As we start to bring those back online again, we want to make sure that every kid gets the care that they need. We want to make sure every kid gets the test that they need. And we want to make sure that we can provide the best environment for, the, for that care to be given. Okay. Is there anything else you want people to know about Children's Wisconsin? Yeah. Um, first of all, thank you for watching today. Um, what I'd like you to know is that we are open for kids. We are committed to kids. We want to always provide the best and safest environment and the best and safest care for kids. And we want you to know that it's safe to come to Children's. We want you to know that we're doing everything that we can to provide that environment. We're masking, we're washing our hands, we're staying six feet <laughs> apart most of the time. Yeah. Um, but we're also making sure that we have all the services ready to go that kids need when they come here to get that care. Yeah. Did we have any questions? Doesn't look like we had anything come through while we were talking, but if there are questions even after this video goes live, Feel free to ask them in the comments and our team will do everything we can to address them in the comments, okay? All right, thank you again, Dr. Gutzeit, for You're taking welcome. the time to talk to us today. Thank you, Ashley, thank you for joining us today. Yeah. If you have any questions about Children's Wisconsin or COVID-19, please visit chw.org slash coronavirus. There you can find all the different kinds of resources from different blogs to locations and when they're open, that type of stuff. At Children's, we're adjusting to COVID-19 just like everyone else, but we're taking steps to keep our patients and our staff healthy um, so we can continue provide, to provide that best care that Dr. Gutzai talked about. Please do not hesitate to call your child's doctor's office, use my chart messaging, or our online urgent care um, if you have any needs during this time. Thanks for watching and keep an eye out for our next conversation with a Children's Wisconsin team member.